I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on quadratic relations. I am going to share with you a couple of uh, applications. In this one, we have an application relating distance, speed and time. It's a multiple choice question. You can pause the video, copy the question, solve and then look into my suggestions. The question here is, a motorboat travels 30 miles up a river and returned a distance of 27 miles. The entire trip takes 5 hours. If the rate of the motorboat in still water is 12 miles per hour, find the rate of current of the river. Right? So let's try to understand the situation. Let's say uh, that's the river and here the water is flowing uh, at some rate. Let's say water is flowing at the rate W, right? So the motorboat actually goes up, it goes up, uh, uh, let's say, 30 miles, but it returns only 27 miles. So that is this situation given to us. We can actually represent all this situation in the form of a table. So let me sketch a table here, and that is how we are going to actually solve all the questions relating distance, speed, and time. So we'll actually form three columns relating distance, speed, and time. So here we will talk about distance in miles, speed in miles per hour, and time in hours. We have two scenarios. The boat is going up and down. It goes 30 miles up, so we write 30 here, 27 down, perfect. Now what is the speed? The speed of the boat is 12 miles per hour, right? So the boat actually goes with 12 miles per hour, but when it goes up, it is against the current, and therefore the speed should be 12 minus W, but when it comes down, it should be 12 plus W. We are given the total time of 5 hours, so that is the total time taken. Correct. So this is the information given to us. How do we form an equation? Well, we know the relation between distance, speed and time. Let me write down to help you. This is a standard relation which we can represent in this triangle, distance, speed and time. Time is ratio of distance and speed. So I could write this time for going up as distance of 30 divided by the speed of 12 minus W. While coming down, it comes faster, distance of 27 divided by 12 plus W. Okay. So we get our equation directly by adding these two quantities. So we get our equation as, let me write down here, 30 over 12 minus W plus 27 over 12 plus W equal to total time of 5 hours. Does not make sense to you? So it is as simple as that. So once you represent the data as shown here, you can easily see what is going on. Correct? Now it is a question of isolating W and finding its value. There is only one variable in our equation, so it is not a very difficult job. Now to do it, we need to take the common denominator. So let me extend it on this side, which is 12 minus W times 12 plus W. It gets cross multiplied. So we get 30 times um, 12 plus W plus 27 times 12 minus W. That should be equal to 5. Now here you can apply the formula A square minus B square, right? Now let's open the brackets. 30 times 12 means 360. You can use calculator actually. So we have 360 plus 30W plus 12 times 27. So let's use the calculator. It's 324 actually. So we'll do 27 times 12, which is 324 minus 27W, right? Now this term is better to cross multiply, right? So we'll do 5 times 
12 square minus w square 12 square is 144 minus w square is it okay so difference of squares when you multiply and then you cross multiply right now we can bring all the terms together um, so what do we have as far as the w is concerned 30 minus 27 is 3 w so we can write this as 3 w uh, okay so let's write down this number as 360 plus 324 we'll bring this term here 5 times uh, 4 is 22 and then to 720 and that minus becomes plus 5w square equals to 0 correct so that gives you 5w square plus 3w and uh, let's do this so we have 360 plus 324 and we'll take away 720 minus 36 equals to 0 so that is what we get now we need to factor this so we can do sum and product to factor this so okay so let's try sum and product so we need product of 5 times 36 that is negative number we need positive big number well 36 could be written as uh, uh, 4 times 9 for example and 9 could be written as 3 times 3 now we need to form a combination so that we could get plus 3 right so 12 and 15 can work for us do you see how I get it so this is 12 and the other number is 15 so I could write this as 5w square plus 15 we have to take bigger number as positive minus 12w minus 36 equals to 0 so we split this into 12 I mean 15w minus 12w let me rewrite okay minus 36 equals to 0 and we'll solve this quadratic equation by factoring correct okay so we can take 5w common so we get w plus 3 minus we can take uh, 12 w plus 3 equals to 0 so w plus 3 is a common factor we get 5w minus 12 equals to 0 so we have w equals to minus 3 which is incorrect it cannot be negative and we have w equals to 12 divided by 5 correct so 5 times 2 is 10 20 means 2.4 so 2.4 is option b for us so that is the correct answer right so we get the speed of the current is 2.4 miles per hour do you see that so that is how you would actually solve this question I hope it's absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'll be great. Share my videos with your friends. Thanks for watching and all the best.